Welcome to HellState.com. I am Bob Carskadden. This is Dylan Day. You know his name much better than mine. Dylan Day, a uh, rising junior. We were just ha- having this conversation. Until you actually start class in August, it, it's weird because you, football-wise, you just finished your sophomore year, you're going into mm-hmm. your junior. School-wise, you're about to be a senior. You say what people ask you, you just have no clue what to even say. Exactly. You know, you just get confused because people ask you, uh, so what are you? I'm like, well, you you know, you ask about class, you ask about football. <laughs> so it just kind of gets confusing, but it's all good. So. Now, uh, Dylan, one of the top centers in the SEC, one of the top centers in the country as well, named to the watch list for the Remington Trophy, uh, given every year to the top center in the United States of America, in college football specifically, obviously not the NFL. But uh, I'm sure that, that probably means a lot to you. Oh uh, yeah, you know, it's a big deal. You know, a lot of great centers are on it. You know, I mean, it's just a big, it's, it, it means a lot to me too, because you know, just put your name out there and just all the hard work you're putting in, it's kind of getting recognized, you know, and the things you're doing is just, it's coming a long way. So it's a good deal. So. Uh, Dylan from Louisiana. Mm-hmm. You had, uh, I guess, about a month off, the month of May. Right, right. Before you, you got back to work out, all that good stuff. What did you do all May? Uh, you know, May for me is just a big family family month. You know, catch back up on the family because, I mean, I'm in stock roll for 11 months out of the year. So, you know, when uh, May rolls around, I try, I try to do as much as I can with the family. You know, hang out with my mom and dad and just mm-hmm. uh, say what's up to my sisters and do all that kind of stuff. So, uh, yeah, How many siblings do you have? Three sisters. I'm the Three youngest. Three sisters, goodness. I'm the youngest, so, yeah. Your dad, your dad must have been pumped. Yeah, yeah. When he came out he was, of the boy. He was, he, was, he was waiting on the boy, so when when he got the boy, he said, yes, he's through. So. I got it, we're done here. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, are you one of the families where everybody kind of lives near each other, or where you spread out all over? You know, uh, my two sisters, they both live, I'm from West Monroe, so mm-hmm. they both live in West Monroe, and then I have one sister that lives in New Orleans, and doing. she has a job down there, so that's why she lives there, so. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's all good. I mean, we're a real close family, and everybody's like loves each other. So that's good. How far are you from New Orleans? I don't, I don't know my geography. Okay, well, well West Monroe is actually like five hours from New Orleans. Oh so wow, so that's about far, the same as here. Right, right. So I mean, it's it's a good bit of ways, but because West Monroe is like the peak of Louisiana, so mm-hmm. so West Monroe to here, how long would that be? Four hours, or just under four hours. Oh, so you're closer to South yeah, than New Orleans. Yeah, exactly. It's that's not that bad. a little. <laughs> it's weird, weird, but yeah, but good. it's cool. Well, uh, Dylan, obviously, you talk about going into your junior year. It's weird. I remember when you came in as a redshirt freshman. Mm-hmm. There were some injuries, and it's like, all right, well, hey, I know you're young. We got to put you in there. Has gone really well since then, obviously, but it's happened fast. Is it weird to think of yourself as one of the veterans and leaders of the team? Uh, you know, it's very weird just seeing that aspect because, uh, you know, right when your name gets called and you have to go in there, you, you're kind of shocked because you don't expect it to happen for an injury, you know. Mm-hmm. And uh, you just have to work with it and, you know, go through the uh, tough times, I guess. But now, yeah, like you said, I'm kind of like the leader now. And, I had stepping up my role more, you know, uh, just helping out the young guys because I know how it feels like to be thrown in there. So, you know, I just want to guide everybody around and just, you know, make it as easy as possible for everybody else. Now, uh, last thing, I can't let him get out of here without mentioning this dude, probably the king of Vine videos. <laughs> You've had some really funny ones. I appreciate it. Are, are, you, are you the prankster of the team? I, I would guess from those. Yeah, you, you like to play some jokes here and there. You know, I just like I, I just like making life fun. You know, yeah. so uh, I like seeing making people happy too. But uh, yeah, I haven't made one recently. I need I need to do it. Just uh, the ideas, you know, they start running out. I say, especially when you start getting around the team. I bet that gives you oh, a yeah. inspiration. Would, we'll, we'll have some more coming on. So, yeah. <laughs> right on. Well, uh, Dylan Day, Junior Center for Mississippi State, uh, Remington Trophy watch list, as we mentioned. Appreciate you hanging out with us here on HellState.com.